Alrighty, I think it's just about that time for our third dive of the day into Hogwarts Legacies. I can't tell you guys how much I'm enjoying this game. It has been an absolute blast being able to go through and play this one. Um, and so far, I've super been enjoying it. I know that it's kind of quiet. I apologize, but don't worry. We're going to turn up the sound a little bit and everything will get louder here in just a moment when we get back into the game. But hello, everyone. Hopefully, you guys are all having a fantastic end of your day or starting of your day, depending on what time it is for you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully, you guys are ready for some more Hogwarts Legacies. Today, we're going to be going through and we are going to be learning how to fly. Um, we literally have the quest now to go to flying class and figure out how to fly. We also had a class in order to teach us how to do do the spell um, Defendo or something like that. Or Deprindo or something. It's supposed to make it so we push everything away from our character. Um, let me see, what the heck is it called? Uh, Depulso. So that's what we're going to be learning how to do. I bought the potions for us to be able to do this specific quest that we have right here. So all in all, super excited. We're about to get into it. Uh, Darkness Within, great to see you as well. Hopefully you're having yourself a good one. Thank you so much for being here, guys. But let's not talk anymore. Let's get into the game and let's have ourselves a grand old time. So here we go. All right. So first things first, I need to do a couple different things. I need to take some potions is what I need to do. Um, but I'm going to take these potions by after I go to a different area. So I'm going to take these potions after I go over, uh, to this area down over here. There was a little fort thing that was down over in this area that I needed to go save the, uh, save the art dealer's stuff from. And I want to do that, go to that fort because there was a Merlin thing there. So I want to go check that out. So that's what we're doing. Also, I did so change my outfit in between like videos as well. Um, I'm back wearing my robes again. I'm just wearing the helmet for right now. Kiva, how's it going? How you doing? How you doing? All right. Let's follow the road that we had to follow before. Which means we got to go right over here. I just got tired of hearing the clanking whenever I was running around for, for a little while. I'm like, I'm a wizard. And all I can hear is clanking. So yeah, I, uh, I, I took that off for right now. Um, also I, uh, going through and I sold some stuff and I ended up finding a couple more notes while I was selling things. So I was able to get to level 16. I bought some more talents over here under core, uh, allowing my, um, my Wigan, my Wigan weld potions to heal me way more. So these things are going to be way more useful. Um, I did make some of them in between episodes as well. I'm trying to get like the grindy stuff of you guys having to sit there and watch me make potions because it, it takes actual time to make the potions. Uh, so instead of you guys having to sit there and watch me do it, I made it so it would just, uh, we we skipped right over it. I did it in the mediary. So no biggie there. What's up, dude? I have no idea who you are, but how's it going? Don't mind me. I'm just running. Honestly tired. But, uh, yeah. Well, I, uh, yeah, that's a thing. It happens. Okay, I don't remember. I don't remember. If there was one inside of this ruin or not. A castle must have been quite stately in its time. It must have been. Um, I don't know if it's got one of those circles in it, so that's what I'm looking for right now. It does not appear so. Oh, I forgot that I had that skill now. I'm trying to get the dueling feats down as well, because the more of those I get, um, I can get, uh, I can unlock other like looks and stuff like that. I'm trying to get as many as I can. 
Go to bed early tonight because you were tired after today, uh, last night's late bedtime. Yeah, I'm having a great stream, but thank you so much for coming and hanging out for a little while. Uh, have yourself a wonderful evening, Slim. We'll talk to you later. Okay, was it right over here? Is that where it was? I'm trying to remember where the heck this fort was. Don't think it Great Spindle Dug Dungbog. That's a giant frog. Wrong button to dodge. Yeah, by the way, that's my new dodging skill. It is insane. Yeah, how does that feel? That it puts, uh, whenever I stupefy things. Oh, crap, I died. I wasn't paying attention. I <laughs> keep casting that Lycio spell. Thank you. I mean, I was uh, so focused on my dodging and stuff that I wasn't paying attention to my health. Yeah, it kind of does look like Sonic. This is why I was fighting these things, because these uh, dung bog tongues, I need them to make focus potions. That's the whole purpose. Whoops. Wow, those heal me for a lot now. My, uh, my health potions literally heal me for half my health. Whoop, well, my Protego went out in, in, in the bad time. There we go. All right. Now we got my... Ah! Babies! Babies out of nowhere! Bad babies. Well, I... If those ones killed me. Night Wizard. Yeah. I uh, I switched up the way I was I was dressed. I was like, the whole night thing, it just it wasn't really feeling like wizardy to me, but I'm like, you know what? You know what? Let's let's put the robes on, but let's leave the helmet on. It's like cause the helmet screams sim, so I'm like, yeah, let's let's keep the helmet on. Incendio. Ouch. These things hurt so much. Wrong thing. <laughs> okay, I need to just, uh, I need to just get away from these things. All right. I need to get away from them because these things hurt. They're not even fun to fight. They just have so much health. I think I need to... Uh... Yeah, we'll try one more time. Oh yeah, there we go. Now things are coming together the way that I want them to. Whoops. Incendio. 
flip a dung bog on its back. How does one do that? Here, do this. No more dung bog for you. Bad. Bad. All right, here. Go grab my tongues here. Yeah, there's still another one. I'm only level 16, but these things suck to fight. Alright. This is not the correct direction of where I'm supposed to be going. This. This is where I wanted to go. This place. All right, here, let me put a couple others. I need to put, uh... Oops. Levitate two enemies simultaneously here. That I can do, because I think I got Levioso level two. There we go. You won't get away with that. Wow, I'm doing way more damage against the goblins now. The goblins are way easier. No crossbow for you. Oh. There we are. Goblins taken care of. You've one less follower, Ranrock. All right, so this is this is what I wanted to do. This thing. All right, we got something going on up here. What's what's this? Repair. Room. No. Okay. Levioso. Okay, it looks like there's more than one. But what do I have to do? There's one. Nope. Oh yeah, there was there was quite a few. There was two streams today, probably a total of five or six hours of streaming um, that you missed if you didn't see the other two today. So there's a little bit that's going on that might be new. Um, honestly, I don't know what I'm doing for this one. I really don't. There's these two things here. And maybe I need... It's green. Doesn't want to be on fire. Nothing there is working. Um... I must need to, to get something else for there. Okay, well, my plan was to figure out what that was for. But I don't think I have what I need for that yet. Flame? I tried flame. I tried lighting it on fire. 
See? Incendio. Nope. Here. See? It, it doesn't it doesn't care to be on fire. Levioso. Expelliarmus. It's not like I have to be like invisible or something or stand on it or anything like that. So is it I can't imagine it would be something with these lights here. Yeah, I can't imagine. The balls in the gated area. Yeah, I guess. Good call. Good call. With the balls in the gated area. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm picking up on what you're throwing down. Accio. Good call, Nate. I like your call. Is there only the two? Normally there's three. Is there a third one? There is... Don't see it. One, two, maybe outside right over here. Ah, there is a third one. Okay. Um, but where are the balls? Where, oh, where, oh, where are the balls? You made a stream? Yeah, what's going on, Nightmare? Good to see you, buddy. Been a while since I've actually... Been live streaming, especially live streaming this much, but yeah, I'm happy to be here. <laughs> that worked, kinda. Screw it, let's do this again. All right, here, let me, uh, here we go. We're making her work. <laughs> Eating some Supremo magic. Figuring it out. There are balls up here. No, there's a chest up here, though. Oops, wrong button. Here we go. I got solar protection goggles. All right. Do I see anything that looks like balls from up here? Uh, did I guess the correct broomstick? I haven't gone and checked it out yet. We haven't done the broomstick yet. No, no broomstick quite yet. Let me check this crate right here. No, that's cedar rivet gloves. Okay, that's not right. And maybe it's somewhere out here. I can't imagine they're going to be that far. Revelio. Get them? No. Ah, see? See? Why Revelio is so important. Incendio. Accio. See, I, I upgraded Revelio because I wanted it to be stronger. More potent. All right, so that should do it. If all three are done. Cool. Two of Merlin's trials done. 
sweet. Am I going to go down the dark arts? Um, oh, like there's a little bit that I'm doing. Um, like I'm going to make it so like Expelliarmus and Protego when they, when I reflect, it'll make it so they do like curse damage, but I don't plan on using like the actual dark arts against anybody in this playthrough, at least. Uh, my next playthrough that I'm going to do, I'm going to be a Slytherin. I'm going to be just a, a severe dick. And I'm going to use as many dark arts as I can. But that's going to be like my personal playthrough that I do. And I might do like a recap video of the difference. The differences. But yeah. All right. Let's go. Oh, crap. I came all the way over here to do all that and drink the potions while I did it. Now at this point, I should just drink the potions for diddles and move on. Uh, let me see. How do I... Yeah, I need to drink a focus potion. Drink that. There we go. Go over here. Drink that. And then uh, go up to this one. And drink that. Excellent. Now I'm super powerful and don't take any damage. I'm completely impervious to damage whenever I use this skill or this potion. The strengthening potion, I'm completely immune to any damage at all while it's on. It's awesome. So yeah, important, uh, important potions for sure. I think I did both of them, right? Yes. Okay. So now I can go to the potions classroom to get, um, to Pulso and I can go do the flying class. All right, cool. Let's go back to Hogwarts. All right. Let's see. We want to go here and, uh, yeah, we'll just go there. We'll do flying first, then we'll do potions, and then we'll see where we're going from there. You can't imagine how inconvenient that Look at these giant rings. Cool. What the heck are these for? Rebellion. Because they're way bigger than I would imagine than the Quidditch pitch rings would be. Maybe for a different game? Hmm, weird. Vault the herbs. Okay, time to learn to fly. Don't forget to sell my stuff. I have fall from their broom first. some stuff. I sold a bunch in between episodes, so. Okay, let's begin. Everybody Time to learn how to fly. Broom and we shall get started. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now. Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom. Say up. Yep, probably going to end up flying through them. I thought about that too. And rest your weight on the seat. What did I do with my bottle of water? Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Oh. Well, there we are. One 
leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Well, hop on. Let's do it. And if <laughs> you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Okay, let's do this. Time to fly around. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. <laughs> the brooms this are brilliant. school property. I want them returned in one piece. I think I'm getting the hang of this. I think we're getting the hang of it, too. All right, how do I go faster? Because that was cool, but let's go fast. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Sure, let's go. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! This is awesome. Hello. Nice day for a flight. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. This is this is freaking cool. I don't care who you are. This is awesome. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Nope, didn't get to see that. Didn't get to do that. All is well though. Apparently it's a thing you gotta that you have to join in your fifth oh, year if you have these special powers. Likes to make an appearance once in a while. <gasps> okay, yeah, giant squid. Sure, cool. Ah! Okay, <laughs> don't look at the giant squid. Pay attention to where you're flying. This is wrong. So there's really only one speed. Okay. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for <laughs> something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We met in the common room. I'm Everett Clopton. So, care to join me for a bit of high flying fun? Won't we get in trouble? Kagawa seems strict. I wouldn't want to get into trouble. Kagawa won't even notice. Besides, a bird doesn't learn how to fly by staying in the nest. Follow me. All right, well, so it's a bit bad. The Lead the way. The is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Sure thing, my guy. Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is Everett flying so quickly? I was going to say, yeah, he's flying way faster. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. All right, so that's... This is burst of speed. Uh, now that's more like it. All right, all right, all right. You sure you're not part hippogriff? Well, I'm pretty sure I'm 95% hippogriff. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. I do like the whole speeding up thing. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Hurrying back, yep. Descent. Oh, dismount. Oh, okay. Cool. That was awesome. And where have you two been? 
Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Ouch. Well, we learned how to fly faster, As for but you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. I'm, like, not speaking anymore. I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, my guy's just not talking as much. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. Uh, yeah. I have no regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. All right. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Let's do it. I'm going right now. Literally going right now. <laughs> that was awesome. That I want to be able to do all the time. Oops, wrong button. The helmet, maybe? No, I don't think it's the helmet. I think that it's, you know, supposed to be... Um, I think I'm not supposed to talk in some parts like that because I was in trouble and stuff. But I, it's it would be the same thing as wearing a... Fa uh, it's only a difference in the hat that I'm wearing. It's just a cosmetic on a hat. Hogsmeade. Okay, so the shop should be right over... Nah. Are you open finally? Yes! Aha! Uh -huh. new face! Wonderful! Yeah, give me this. What is this? Uh, guide pages. Run the AB Weeks. The shop sells all manners of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gospel around town is that it's working on a number of broom enhancements. Oh, cool. <laughs> There's one with a little cauldron on it. Oh, here. Let me get this real quick. Thank you. Hey, look. Quidditch balls. Where's the snitch? Not in there. Okay. Search that. Ooh. Tilted garb. Nice. There's a the snitch. All right. What you got for me there, buddy? Would like a... Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? I'll be weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Yes. Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Uh, disrupted trade routes? What made you... You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spint Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. Oh. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right True. Then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. All right. Um, what else can you share about brooms? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. All right, well, let's take a little peek then. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. All right, let's see what, what we got. What are looking for today? Hogwarts house broom. Ember dash broom. Perfect broom for the fiery temperament. 
Finely crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Um, a stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. Okay, and then what's this one? You weaver, comfortable care. Can I? That item is of the highest quality. Uh. Eh. Let me see. That's on fire. That item is of the highest quality. Looks okay. This one's got a little light on it. So does this one. Not a huge fan of the fact that it has a light on it. Quality. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. I honestly don't mind that. That item is of the highest quality. <laughs> this one's just funny because it's literally like on fire. It's between these two. I don't know which one I like more. You've said that like five times there, my guy. I don't like either of these ones because they have a big friggin' lantern hanging off the front of them. I mean, maybe that'll help me see at night, but I feel like it's like, yeah, you don't need a big lantern hanging off the front. That item is of the highest quality. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to buy this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. And I'm going to buy this one. And I'm just going to switch back and forth for when I feel. And that's that. Uh, what's this? Tell that I don't need that. There nice we go. Nice doing business with you. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class. They all have their limitations. Okay. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. Sure. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Sure. That Let's do intriguing. it. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If Just lost it, sound. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. I'm showing that we that I'm still submitting sound, so try resetting your stream. But yeah, no, I'm showing everything's still going, and it would tell Streamlabs or YouTube would tell me itself if it wasn't sound. Be sure to let me know. All right, let's equip our broom. You could sell. You could upgrade your broom at Spin Witch's sporting needs in Hogsmeade. Yeah, honestly, I don't know which one I like more because I like the front of this one. I think I'm going to go with this one for right now because the front is like my helmet and the back is like a wizard. So we're going to go with that one for right now. And then this, I'm just going to swap these. Oh, I can't even. I need to be level 17, apparently. Oh, I'm almost there. All right. So cool. We got our broom. Now let's go back to... Oh, we're about to get our room of requirement. Heck Yeah. Uh, and we're also about to get conf uh, Confringro. The Shadow of the Undercroft. Professor Wiesa has requested I meet with her on the seventh floor corridor of the Astronomy Tower. Okay, and then let's do Professor Sharp first. I'm going to do Professor Sharp first. Then we'll go to the broom requirement. Then we'll do the broom riding. And then we'll see about um, Confringo. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. All right. 
Now, how do I pull my broom out? How does one... How does one broom? Okay. Uh... How do you... How do you broom? <laughs> it may have told me, but I totally missed it. Is it when I leave? You can't... Oh. You can't fly inside of Hogsmeade. Oh. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? All right. L1, then tap circle. Oh, all right. Cool. Awesome. <laughs> well, that's a little bit more efficient now, isn't it? I could see how playing Quidditch in this game would be extraordinarily fun. Can I fly in between here? Heck yeah, I can. All right. Okay, how do I... Uh... You just press circle to get off. All right, cool. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, I'm going to be addicted to doing that everywhere now. All right. So... This way to potions? There's a key here. There's a key up here. Dang, how much further are you going to have me go up there, Mr. Key? Wow, that's quite quite a distance to travel for a key. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. There it goes. Very good. All right. Locked. Crap. All right, well. Is what it is. Alrighty. Nice cage. Let's uh let's go through here. Hold on a second, let me just do this. Ten potions during the day. Oh, I'm pretty much already at potions. I just took a wrong turn. Yeah, well, look at that. I pff, took a wrong turn is all I did. Potions when Professor Sharp is so The guy that's right in front of me, his eyes are creepy looking. That guy was like staring at me with big beady eyes. All right. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Want to come sit down? Rebellion. Sharps all aura badge. Aura comprises the ministry's magical law enforcement protecting wizard world from all sorts of threats, particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Sharp. I completed your assignments, Professor. Good. You should be ready to learn to pulso. Let's see what you can do. Concentrate. Do not let your mind wander.
Very good. You've got it now. If you'd like to practice, and I think you should, perhaps best not to go flinging your classmates about the halls. I suggest having a go at the enchanted books here. Oh, okay. Well, here, let's, uh, I'll go like this. We'll, uh, try it out here. Well done. I'm glad to see that you seem staunchly determined to master your spellcasting. Yep. Master as soon as possible. There we go. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, yes. Okay, now we're going to do the Room of Requirement. Let me see here. Then you go to the Astronomy Ring, go to the Astronomy Tower. And then I will figure it out from there. I need to go upstairs to the seventh floor. All right. I'm kind of surprised they didn't make it so like if a ghost walked through you or something, your your character didn't make noise. Oh. Cool. They like set up a whole area here for this. This is cool. For some reason, in my head, like when I heard the books and stuff, Professor Weasley, I thought that this corridor was going to be longer. To be honest, mm. somewhere away from prying eyes. Cool. <laughs> Forgive me, the headmaster stopped me and I... Merlin's beard. I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Off to you, Professor. <laughs> okay. Cool. This place is a huge mess. What is this place? This is the Womb of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how to find it by walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, where is Deke? He must have sneaked past and gone ahead. Deke, Professor? The house elf I was speaking to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. Depulsor. There's okay. no chance I'm clambering over this mess. Hmm. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. Oh. You can cast Evanesco to I'm over there like blow it out of the way. <laughs> these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Okay, we're learning another spell. Oh. Okay, let's do this. Evanesco. All right. Blended. Now, cast Hold on. Need to get uh need to get some stuff set figured out here. Give me one second while you while you sit here and talk to me about some stuff. Hang on. I need to give me a sec. To get some stuff figured out here. Very good. On those chairs. All right, hang on. All right, where is yeah, here we go. Evanesco. Here, let's 
There we go. Repairer. Whoops. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. Okay. How many times can I do that? Revelli. In Merlin's name is that elf. Ah, he's around. What's this over here? Hello? Is that... Goodness. My old school bag. I Waited here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you had expected. Clearly T. I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <gasps> Dear me. Can't you keep it down? Some of us are trying to rest. Cool. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Come here, you. I don't know if I need you, but, uh... What's this? Oh, yeah, drink the hundred-year-old tea. That's good for you. <laughs> Oh, cool. I get to slide down this. Woohoo! <laughs> ah. Very good. Very nice. <laughs> well, we might as well run around and see what kind of uh, trouble we can get ourselves into. Some chests over that way. How do I get over there? Let's see. I can go over here. Okay. Get to right about here. Oh, okay. There we go. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. An intruder! Stop them! No, not us! That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Well, that's a bummer. What do we got here? Bit offended. Um, the room thought I needed a bath. Cheeky thing. Sometimes you just need to use the bathroom. Sometimes you just need some uh, equipment. Hello. How are you doing? Revelio. Whoa. Creepy mask back over there. How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? I think that's the point. Nobody does. What was that? There's a snitch in here. Was that a golden snitch? Perhaps you should summon your wits Rebellion. and find out. <laughs> Where'd that go? Action. There's a little golden snitch in here, too. Oh, because there's some old uh, Quidditch supplies in here. How do I get in there, though? Good question. Okay, we're we're puzzling right now. Apparently, that is not the way. All right, maybe it's something that's in here. Hmm. Revelio. Now, how does one get in there?
Hold on, let me try this spell out. Hold on. Nope, that didn't do it either. All right, now if I tell you to float that. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, uh. Let me. Can I? No. I mean, it went way up in the air, right? <laughs> For a minute there, it went way up in the air. I don't know what happened. Reach that from here? Of course not. Okay. 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 That really doesn't want to come in here. And I just have to wait for it to drop. All right. All this to try to get in there. Can I? Nope. Well. I don't want to miss out on anything. Can find us in here. So as soon as that uh, floating spell comes off, I'll be able to pull it through here. Just taking its time. I need like a dispel. There's a lot of trophies in here. Really? You want to talk about frustrating? This is frustrating. <laughs> I 
Let me try... Okay. I'm about to give up on this because honestly I don't care that much about it. Hopefully this works. Explosion! Look, look at that. That doesn't work either. Yeah, I uh, I give up on this. I I can't give a, a crap left. Nope, don't care. Whatever's in there, don't care. Could be the best thing in the game. Don't care. Hey, buddy. Come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke, we've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed, it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room like I did. Okay. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the Seeker's needs. It's unplottable, so won't appear on any map. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. Deep seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Wonderful. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Don't you have to leave in order for it to do that? This is cool, though. <laughs> Neat. You've given yourself quite a canvas to work with. <laughs> Just got a helmet on. Yeah. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, and it seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. 
One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. Cool. So I can identify things now. So I have gear that I, I've been waiting with a piece of gear that I need to identify. I found a tan cloak. Okay. What a waste of time. The desk will be an invaluable resource. Cool. All right. What else you got for me? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. I'll teach you. Okay. Conjuring spell. I got you now. I can now conjure things. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Spellcraft are like those. recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I yep. find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Sweet. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm, quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. You should find both familiar since they'll resemble the ones you've already used to study magical plants and brew potions in class. Sweet. Let's do this. Whatever this is supposed to be. All right. So first things first, uh, I need to set up this to do that. All right. So I have potions, herbology, utility, wall hangings, rugs, furniture, decorations, telescope. Wow, there's a lot of decorations. Okay. Paintings. We got all sorts of paintings. Okay. Seasonal decorations. Don't even get me started. Okay. Tables, wizard chess, card game, gobstones, and a quidditch pitch table. I kind of want to put in a Quidditch pitch table just for fun, but we'll stick to what the what the things tell me to do. Uh, small botanical potions, small electric potions, small gothic potions. Uh, scientific? Yeah, that looks good. Change color. Oh. Blue for now. Oh. I'll have to check these out as I get more of them. This is going to be cool. Pop that in right there for now. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Okay. Only because I want this. Is this going in? <laughs> there we go. Deke will be here to answer any questions you may have. Do not underestimate his insights. Okie dokie. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. It would okay. be exhausting <laughs> to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. But the room of requirement 
has its own rules. Okay. Well, I will be sure thank to you. speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. Unlock wizarding portraits. So now I can come over here and set up potions to brew. And I can just let them go. Cool. So let's make another one of those and I'm just going to kind of let her go. All right, and then I could come over here and I can plant some Dittany and say, all right, do your thing. I'll be back. Cool. I'm ready for the next lesson, Professor. Very well. First, you'll need to gather some Moonstone. Done that. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the Room of Requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. How much do I need? I already have it. I have the moonstone you requested, <laughs> Professor. Good. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to your liking. Okay. Why don't you try it on the walls and floor? Okay. Conjure wall decorations and floor decorations. Here we go. Give me a little rug action, I guess. Uh, honestly, I'm not really sure. Uh, sure. There we go, there's some landscaping pictures for me there. Uh, nurse and baby portrait? Uh, no, I'm good. Gazing wizard. Ooh, Niffler and Witch. Sure. Oh, cool, it moves. That's neat. Oh wait, I can hang things on the wall. What do we got? An oval mirror. There we go. Apparently I need to put stuff on the walls, so this is what I gotta do. Furniture. Oh, I don't have any. Utility. Desk of description. I already have that. Um, statues. Don't have any statues. Seating. There we go. Myself a nice chair. My fancy corner. Um. Here, here we go. We'll toss in some light here. That's totally not centered. Ah, oh, my brain. Conjure wall decorations. I literally just need to put two more things on the wall. Okay, well. Here. Good work. Shall we move on? Yeah. What else you got for me? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration. The will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started. Getting a little over overboard here. As I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. All right. There we go. I figured out altering. Just aim your wand at any conjuration. All right, this one. There we go. And perform the altering spell to customize it. There we go. 
Scientific walls. Right? And then... The floor. There we are. Alter the color of an item. Adjust the size of an item. <laughs> How large is this going to be? Dang, sometimes you just need a huge freaking lamp. All right, I love lamp. <laughs> there we are. Bring that, bring that down a little bit. All right, now changing the style. All right, now I have to change the color of it. There we go. All now right. You're ready for something a little more advanced. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Try uh. aiming at the floor or at that balcony. Scientific bookcase, botanical bookcases, elect um or gothic. All right, it wants me to alter the floor, too. Oh, I like that. Might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Okay, what you got Professor for me? Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh... Moonlit ambience, sure. I'd like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Hmm, sounds perfect. Cool. Honestly, I liked it more before, but... Oh, quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Yep. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Yeah, no kidding. Did it open up a whole nother room? Oh yeah, it did. Okay. Oh, it's giving me more than one room. Cool. It just opens up to An even more. Even bigger space. <laughs> How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spell crafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. <laughs> Me and my I'm helmet. To it. This is your space now. <laughs> Use it wisely. So this is my space now. Okay, so I have... So where do I go to... Oh, over here. This is where I go. So it can just keep getting bigger and I can customize it more. Well, this is awesome. <laughs> Rebellion. Neat. I'm I'm for this. This is pretty cool. Fifty five seconds and my dit will be ready. This is ready. At least I have a teleport spice to get in here too. Did Deke? Do you just hang out in here, buddy? 
I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Uh, natural and earthy. Let's try that. I to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Hmm, sounds perfect. I'm probably going to keep it moonlit because I feel like that's going to be like the most Ravenclaw one. Honestly, though, I really like this light. I feel like, you know, like Gryffindor's warm and cozy, Mysterious would be Slytherin, the nighttime one would be Ravenclaw, and then this would be like Hufflepuff. But that's just my point of view on it. Hey, this is done. Sweet. I can make more potions. I wish I could make more than one. But it is what it is. All right. I did the thing. Uh, let me look at my challenges, quests, and this. Legendary Mask. I don't really care about that right now. But I do, however, care about doing this. Yep. I do care about doing that a lot. Okay. Oh crap, what are my quests now? Professor Sharp's assignment 2, I learned to Findo. Acquire an invisibility potion, use a thunder brew potion against enemies. Okay. Need to do the flight. Uh, speak with Pippin. Oh, he asked, he sent me an owl, I'll have to check that out. And I could go do spell practice. Otherwise, I can do this, which is going to give me Confringo. Or should I do this one? I think I already have an invisibility potion, so I just have to use it. The Thunderbrew potion against enemies, I'd have to make that or buy one. But I have to go talk to him anyway. Uh, because Pippin wants me to go talk to him. Let's do this fright flight test. At the pit Quidditch pitch. Let's do that. I've wanted to go to the Quidditch pitch the whole time, so let's... Let's go do that. I like flying around, so let's do that. Can I make more than one brewer? I probably can. <laughs> awesome. Oh, there's no rings out here. Bummer. Shut up. Wait. Accio. Hey you, Ravenclaw. Howdy. Amelda Rays. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Uh, that's not really what, what happened. Said, but I certainly wasn't showing off. Tell that's the rest of the school, but it doesn't matter. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Okay. This. <laughs> only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Ravenclaw. Let's go. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. All right. Success. 
Okay, so those speed me up. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> Going fast. Oh crap. All right, I gotta, I really gotta focus on flying here. Well, I messed that up. Am I even close to beating her time? Oh, jeez. Okay. Look, Hogsmeade Station. This is really fun. All right. Oop. I messed up, so I need to use my own speed boost. Got a three-second penalty, too, because I missed a ring. I got to be careful with that. Don't miss any more rings. Right. Making some decent time here. So even with the time of penalty, I still beat her by 20 seconds. Cool. Now, what'd you think about that there, lady? Hmm? Uh, that's not... You, you must have cheated you. Oh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Okay. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it If I was being all. a Slytherin, I'd be like, I don't want your respect. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see. Next I feel like I could have done that way faster. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Alright, to the to return to the podium. Uh, challenge other racers and stuff like that. Okay, maybe another time. I never thought I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. I bet he would. I bet he would. All right. What's next? What is next? Giving my ears a break from these confounded headphones. Okay, I have to go to Hogsmeade anyway, so let's just look at some things here. I uh, like the look of my other ones better, so those are going to stay on for now. Yeah, I need to go to Hogsmeade so I can talk to Mr. Weeks anyway. I need to talk to... The potions guy so I can get a potion and then do his thing that he wants me to do. Professor Sharp sent me with the assignment I've given you. Next time you see me learn uh, Defendo, uh, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object can be a powerful weapon when needed. Okay. I also have a message from Sebastian. I've forgotten. Uh, I've not forgotten about a library adventure. How did you fare? Uh, if you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside. Defense Against the Dark Arts Classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Okay. Perry Pippin. Require assistance with delivery. I thought you might be able to be interested. Sure. And then Professor Weasley. Away from prying eye and distractions. Oh, okay, cool. So we already did that one. Okay. So let's go to Hogwarts. Not Hogwarts. Hogmead. My bad. 
And let's go over here to Mr. Week's place. Then we'll go to Mr. Pippin's place. And then we'll go from there. Here I come. Howdy, 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 oh, howdy, howdy. We've something to report, I hope. Yes. I was able to set a record on my broom. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm. That's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers nice. will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I can't wait to hear more. I'm See excited ya. to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Okay. Hmm. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Cool, so he's going to upgrade my broom. And now I need to run over here to the potion guy. Do I have an invisibility potion? I do have an invisibility potion. I don't have one, no. Okay. I'll need to buy one. Hello, potion man. In the market for potions, are we? Yep. Buy. What can I do for you today? An invisibility potion. A wise decision. And Thank then you. I might as well buy one of these thunder brews too. Ow. Expensive. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Okay. You need help with the delivery? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Happy to help, I guess. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. Let's she go. Have no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully, she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Hmm. Deliver three in potions to somebody in Lalreg. So, okay. 1952. Okay. Let's get out of Hogsmeade, and then we will take our broom on a little adventure. The music was fun. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. A lot of roads do lead to Hogsmeade. Jump over the... Jump over the... I don't care. Swim through the river. Alright, here we go. We're on a little adventure. Wow, I gotta go kind of a distance. I didn't even realize how far this was gonna be. It's a good thing I have my uh, broom now, though. It seems like no matter what, I'm still maintaining a pretty good speed.
This looks like the island from the movies where they uh, bury Dumbledore. I'm not fighting anything. Not fighting that. That's a no thanks. Wonder if my flying mounts are going to be faster. Yeah, I haven't even thought about the whole trip twitch drop thing yet. I probably won't. I don't know. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. This is another little town. It's like a place right out of a storybook. Always leave that pit in. Here you go. How you doing? Madam Luang? I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Sure. Here's your potions. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. Of course. Seems simple enough. I'll do it. I should think so. Okay. See you later. Now I'm invisible. There you go. It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. Okay. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. What do you have for sale? Let me see what you're selling. What are we looking for today? Just health potions. That's it. You have garbage stock. Thank you for stopping in. I appreciate it. All right, here, let's get this at least. You can't in I know a Merlin trial when I see one. Ooh, Merlin trial. I mean, I was like, ran over my brain's like, all right, let's do it. Okay. Merlin trial. But what are the other parts? Here. Are there even other parts? And if so, where are they? Oh, look, a bar. Revelio. Ginger root. The barkeep of uh, Keenbridge keeps stock of ginger root handy to fend off customers' nausea and keep them... Oh, fun. There you go. Just drink somebody else's drink. That's all right. It's good for you. Well, we got a giant ball over here. What am I to do? With this. Accio. Levioso. Accio. Apparently my Accio spell is not uh, strong enough. Honestly, I'm not really sure what the heck I'm supposed to do with this thing yet, so... 
Uh, cool. Oh, look, giant beehives. Let me see, what does this say? They look like giant beehives. Rebellion. Uh, beehives. The wizarding world needs honey for their tea as much as the muggle world does. Or honey for their tea. I don't know if I read that right. My brain kind of failed there with talking. I can't get inside. What are you up to now? Oh, you know. Normal stuff, different day. Oh, so here's a thing. Oh, there's a graveyard here. What? Ah, Inferius must be struck with fire spells to make them vulnerable to other attacks. Ah. Well, we found some Inferi. That's nice. Here we go. I should, uh, if I'm going to fight more of these things, I should really upgrade my fire spells. Incendio. Incendio. Oh, that hurts. Well, you guys just never stop, do you? Here. You get the super fire. Oh, I got the stench of death. Okay, well, that's how you get that. Alright. Here you go. Oops, well, my fire spell missed. Complete the battle without using a Wiganwald potion. Well, I'd Incendio. rather not die. Here we go. Eight Inferi, dead. I just ran over here, I'm like, oh look, uh... A cemetery, not even thinking, hey, uh, you may have to worry about, you know, undead rising out of the cemetery. It is a game that's full of wizards. Still, though, that was cool. That was cool. Fun different enemies to test your, uh, test your skills against. Okay. Take a little peek see at our map here. We made the delivery. I'm assuming that, yeah, he'll want to talk to me. We'll go talk to him. I should use the Thunder Brew Potion against him. Let me run out here and see if I have some, thun some enemies that I can use a Thunder Brew Potion against. Just see if there's anything out here like a wolf or something like that. There should be something. Spiders, wolves, bears, oh my. Because then we could go back and learn another, uh, learn another spell too. Hey, look. One of those dragon things. I have no idea what these are supposed to do. They're just kind of here. They don't, like, fight you or anything. They're just kind of here. Let me try this. No, I don't care if you light them on fire either, so that's good to know. 
Here you go. Got your guys' back. Oh, look. Ace Wing flies. Here I'm running back like, I'll fight anything that's over here. And then there's been absolutely nothing. <laughs> Rude, I'm sorry. Hogwarts this way. Alright. Oh, look, there's a guy over here. Is this that art vendor? I think it might. It is! I cannot thank you enough for all you did to get my carts oh. returned to me. I've been painting and painting. Incredible how such darkness can inspire such beauty. There you go. Oh. I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, be sure to visit me again, won't you? Yeah, Arn, you're kind of out of the you're kind of out of the way, my friend. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're kind of out of the way. You're kind of in the middle of nowhere. I'll respect it, but I'm just saying. Go down here. This looks like a grand place for us to get attacked by something. Yeah, here we go. Yes. This thing's really just kicking the crap out of us. This electricity potion is kicking the crap out of everything. I'm gonna have to get some more of these. This one thing just kind of wrecked house completely. Nice. Alright, well that's what I wanted to do with that, so uh... Something chasing me? Should chase me. Just saying. I'm incredibly good at magic. Shouldn't have chased me. Now you're dead. Not my fault. Your fault. Alright. Let's return to Perry Pippin here. Travel a very long distance in a very short amount of time. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? Ew. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. What you got, bud? Delivered your vanishing potions. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? Be certainly difficult. Well, I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. Thank you. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. Sweet. Thanks. Bye. Okay. And now, go back up and we learn another spell. So let's see. What classes have I been through already? I've been through potions. I would say technically transfiguration for the... the spell that I have for my com for my room of requirement flying or flying charms defense against the dark arts twice I think that's every well technically I've done arithmancy but I don't really have that class and then herbology yeah, I've, I've done a bunch of them so far. But here, let's go uh, back to the astronomy wing. Oop. 
back to this one. The Shadows of the Undercroft. Oh, that's that's him wanting me to do the Confringo thing. We'll get to that in a second. I don't want to do that quite yet. I'm going to probably save that for tomorrow night. That's the one I wanted. Potions Classroom. Ugh. Wrong way. Nope. Right way. Howdy there, Professor. Have you finished your assignments? Yup. I finished the tasks, Professor. Well, well. I trust you are meticulous in your efforts. After all, shortcuts only ever lead to shortcomings. Yep. All in perfectly well. Yes, sir. Of course. Good. Ordinarily, I'd say it's not my concern either way, but you... I want to make sure you're well prepared. Talent so and resolve are a potent combination. It would be a shame to let that go to waste. Thank you, Professor. Don't let it go to your head. Now, let's see how you fare with Defindo. Wand at the ready. Wand is at the Focus. ready. Defindo can be dangerous if you're not paying attention. Focus, okay. Hmm. Very good. It seems you have a grasp on Defindo. I would encourage you once again to practice here in the classroom. For your sake and that of everyone else. Yeah, good idea. Okay, so let's... Let me... Um... Incendio. Whoops, wrong. Oh, sorry about your chair. My bad. Uh, here, what's your... It's this one. Let's put this here. And I'm gonna put nope, 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 nope. This there. Ah, oh, they put up a dummy. Good. It's a pleasure to have a student who actually heeds instruction. Cool. All right. So then, what's next? Do something you'll regret. Next would be more of the keys. I only have four left, and then I unlock whatever that is. Um, going finding this, uh, this map. That's that treasure map, and then spell combination practice, and then obviously to go get Confringo. Cool. All right. Learn a curse with Sebastian. And Sebastian, you're, uh... What is Con... Yeah, because this is Confringo, yeah. This one is Descendo, and then this would be Lependo. Arresto Momentum, and Glacius. I think at some point I also get... Petrificus Totalis to freeze people? Hmm. Okay. Well. I'll have to learn more as I go. Oh, and then Alohomora as well. Do I already have... This? Powerful enough to bind most enemies permanently, but more dangerous foes will only take some damage. Sneak up another time and press square when prompt to cast. Oh, so I already have this. Okay, cool. Well, all right. Well, guys, this is where I'm going to leave the streams for today. We've had a ton of fun going through and checking out this game today and yesterday. 
I've played this game. I've played like 12 hours of this game almost in the past two days. Uh, 24 hours, not even. So half of the time that I've been awake, I've been, or the half the time that's literally between when it launched and now, I've played this game. But yeah, I'm going to go rest. Uh, in the next one, we're going to go check out getting ourselves a curse and doing even more. Uh, that stream is going to be tomorrow night around this time, just as an FYI, uh, because I do have to work tomorrow. I didn't, I didn't take tomorrow off, but today was a lot of fun. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the like button on the way out. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go get myself some rest. Hopefully, you guys all have that same thing for yourself planned, or if it's your day, have a fantastic day ahead. But thank you guys so much. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.